Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, empowered by Magic Needles. This day I am here with a convertible crochet pattern, a very simple pattern. It, it, it's worked with uh, different kinds of stitches at different places and it uses different techniques too. And uh, it is used single crochets, double crochets, trebles, chains, working in the front loop, working in the back loop and so on and working behind the treble crochets together and so on and for this particular motif I have used my hobby store Aaron premium anti pill acrylic 100% acrylic yarn and my 5 mm crochet hook 8 number 5 mm crochet clover hook this is titled as winter daisy and it, it is a very simple motif in the center but it is once it is converted it can be used for combining with any of the granny squares and the blankets and so on and so forth. So let's go into the video without further delay. With color A make an adjustable ring. The magic ring. Now the first stitch can be chain 3 which is considered as a double crochet Let me just, or make a standing twisted double crochet and place 15 more double crochets into the ring. So totally we require 16 doubles in the ring. Complete. I shall complete and get back. So we completed 16 doubles in all. Now slip stitch and join to the first double crochet or third chain of the first three chains. The second round we are going to place two doubles in each of the stitches. So 16 will become 32 stitches at the end of round 2 and at the end of round 3 it will again increase by 16 stitches. So we are actually basically making a circular motif, a flat circular motif, two stitches in each of the DCs in the Row, round 1. So continue this round. I shall meet you at the end of round 2. So I have completed round 2. Now slip stitch and join to the third chain of first 3 chains or the double crochet. I am joining it from the back. Insert the loop from the back. Pull out the loop. So this gives a better finish. Now place one double crochet in this very same stitch or chain 3 to begin with. For third round we need to convert two stitches into three. So we have done one here. In the next we place two doubles. Again, one double. In alternating stitches, we are going to place two doubles. So, continue this round. At the end of this round, you should have 48 doubles. I shall complete and get back. I have completed round 3. At the end of round 3, we should have 48 doubles. Now, slip stitch and join to the third chain or the first double crochet this will be slightly hidden and sometimes it may be little tight to pick up the yarn so use a smaller hook and pull through
now for the fourth round we are going to convert three doubles into four so at the end of this round you should have 64 doubles so make one double crochet in the very first stitch here or chain three and begin whichever is convenient two doubles in the next one double in each of the next two one each two doubles in the next so continue in this manner till the end when we come to the end we will be placing one double here okay and totally we should have 64 doubles I have completed row around 4 so I have 64 double crochets and I have slip stitched and joined 2 now chain 1 place one single crochet in each of the next 4 each of the 4 DCs so 1, 2, 3, 4 2 single crochets in the next double crochet 1 single crochet in each of the next 7 so this is the repeat till the end just before the end we need to repeat this seven times two doubles one sorry two singles in the first double here and then one single in each of the next seven so we need to continue this seven times repeat this seven times two singles one single in each of the next seven three four five six seven again two singles in the same stitch one one single in each of the next seven stitches so continue this repeat seven times i shall continue seven i shall make seven times and get back to you completed the stitch repeat for round 5 so we are left with 4 stitches 2 single crochets in the next DC 1 single crochet in each in each of the next 3 double crochets now slip stitch join to the first single crochet and fasten off this color I shall be back with the next color at the end of round 5 we have 72 stitches and we are going to work on 6 stitches at a time ok actually we will be working on 4 stitches and skipping 2 of them so to begin this round join color B to any front loop of any stitch chain 3 this is considered as uh, chain 3 is generally considered as double crochet but here it is incomplete treble now we have to make 3 trebles together only in the front loops so incomplete treble 1 incomplete treble two incomplete treble three now we are now pull through all four loops on the hook so we have worked chain three considered as double crochet and three trebles together now chain four and slip stitch in the last stitch that is in the same that the fourth one so 
sorry. Now chain two. Skip two. Slip stitch to the front loop of the next DC. Chain three. Three trebles together over the next three stitches. Complete chain four, slip stitch into the same front loop of the last stitch worked. Chain two, skip two, slip stitch to the next front loop of the next stitch and continue this. So in this round, we are going to make 12 numbers of these petal like structures. All worked only in the front loop. We are not touching the back loop because we will be working the subsequent rows in the back loop. So complete this round. I shall complete and get back to you. I have completed placing the 12 petals. This is the last chain to slip stitch to the first slip stitch here and fasten off this color I shall be back with color C color C join behind the back of the top loop of these three trebles together if we join here it will be a single uh, strand hence let us pick up behind these two strands Now you may slip stitch or make a single crochet here because this is the first one. Now chain 2, 2 double crochets in the chain 2 space. Chain 2, slip stitch behind the top of this treble together, 3 trebles together. Now chain 2, one double crochet and one treble in the next chain 2 space. Chain 2, now behind this 3 table together we are going to place one double crochet. one treble crochet chain three one treble one double so this is the first corner made now Okay, now chain 2, see here we did DC and treble, so here after the corner we make treble and DC in the next chain 2 space. Then chain 2. slip stitch behind the top of this treble 3 together chain 2 
two doubles chain two slip stitch behind the top of the three trebles together chain two one double one treble and next chain two space so it's time to make the next corner so this is how the side looks corner treble dc chain two slip stitch chain two two doubles chain two slip stitch chain two a double and a treble and then chain two and the corner so this is how the stitch pattern repeats complete this round i shall also complete and get back completed the round here now last chain two slip stitch to the first slip stitch here and fasten off this color c i shall be back with color a join color a to the back loop of any dc anywhere here with the slip stitch now place a single crochet in the same stitch in the back loops only we are going to work only in the back loops now one single crochet in the back loop of next dc one single crochet in each of the next two chains we are not working inside the chains but we are working we are not working in the chain two loops but we are working on the chains again skip the slip stitch here one single, one single crochet in each of the next two chains one single crochet in each of the this is we are working only in the back loops now we have three chains in the corner place one single crochet in the first chain of the corner and in the middle chain we place two single crochet chain one two single crochet all in the same chain so this forms the corner corner most stitch we are placing that is the corner most chain actually we are placing two singles chain one two singles and then one single crochet in each of the chains and the stitches we are not placing any stitch on the slip stitch that we have done here okay continue all around i have completed the single crochet round now it's time to slip stitch join and fasten off we complete the daisy square pattern and it is titled winter daisy pattern because of the colors that we have used here it's again a convertible crochet that we have done we have started working in the round uh, actually it's a, a simple circular motif then we did the petals on it and then we did the conversion into the square and then we have completed it with single crochet around the primary first color so hope you like this video friends if you happen to be the first time viewer of our channel please do subscribe to our channel do like and share our videos 
do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload every other day. Bye for now. Have a great day.